Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? <clears throat> I'm making this video at night. Actually, it is um, the last evening of July 31st. <clears throat> I'm home from a show that I just played with RAF, the punk rock band I'm in, hardcore punk, metal, whatever you want to call it. We, we uh, opened for the legendary Detroit band Negative Approach. What a show. John Brannan, the, the singer of the band, he was also in the band The Laughing Hyenas, hasn't lost any of his edge. His voice is amazing. <clears throat> Pardon my voice. Um, I was getting a little crazy at the show, yelling and stuff. Um, but I've been waiting um, for something to arrive to make a video, and it finally did. I was talking about this earlier in the year, about this project that I'm a part of, that was supposed to be out in March, um, led up by the uh, visual artist Gonzalo Fuentes. I believe he's from Argentina. This thing called Frets of Yore has finally come out. A collection of guitar, guitar, guitar art pieces for the immediate past. This has really been quite an undertaking. What it is is that it was all the music on this album was inspired by a number of graphic works contributed by 26 visual artists. Each contribution was subjected to two different musical interpretations or lectures, if you like, by two different musicians, most of them guitar players. I was extremely pleased to be asked to be a part of this along with several of my favorite guitar players and musicians who um, I've been admiring collecting for years like for example besides myself on this CD I will play my track there's a track by Fred Frith the man behind the band Henry Cow who I've been loving since the 70s you know Fred Frith is quite the in, 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 innovative or innovative guitarist so to be on the same releases him is a, like a bucket list item for me it means a lot to me Henry Kaiser is another great guitarist who I've been collecting for years. He's on the album. Even more Henry Cow. Who else is on the album? People from the VC, well, people that you know from the VC who, who are also a well known avant garde artist. Ron Anderson is on here. Carla Diratz, I was talking about her. Dave Newhouse of the Muffins. Brett Harold Hart. These folks are friends now. We haven't met. They feel like friends. We talk. We interact quite a bit. But it's just quite the list. Billy Swan, who's in the Muffins, is on here. Miroslav Wanik from Uzjizme, Uzme Doma. Nick Prohl is on here. It's just, it's, it's amazing. Carl Blake from Lemon Kittens. Each person, um, as it said, we were um, asked to choose from... These artworks, and the one that I chose is this one here by Ayako Kanda from, to from Japan. Some of these um, visual artists, you guys know their work as well. I mean, obviously, Brett Harold, Brett Harold Hart, Dan Stearns, do you guys know that name? I'm thinking you ought to. Um, isn't Cal... Matt Haworth. Matt Haworth is on here. You know that name. And uh, Neil Akchot, Danielle Dax, Jad Fair, um, Any Anxiety, Rhea Lenertz, um, Cal Schenkel, who's done, did a bunch of artwork for Frank Zappa. All these people involved in this project. Once again, I, I just have to just say again, I'm going to play some of it, but it was an extreme surprise to me. And an absolute honor when Gonzalo approached me and asked if I would participate in this project. You know, when I saw who else was involved, I was thinking, wow, me? It's, it's such an honor. I do not have access. Okay, so this, it's just starting. This is Andy, and actually Andy Shankara Bowl, who starts off the disc. He is, um, involved in the current version of Gong. Excuse me. It's a 
very interesting and varied piece of work here. Um, as I was about to say, I was really knocked out when Gonzalo asked me to participate, you know, and um, it's just very validating as well as just being something I've always wanted to be associated directly with such artists. Um, Amy Daniel was on here. I, I, it's just amazing. Everyone on here is fantastic. Let me go forward and let you hear just a little bit of my piece, okay? Mark Hewins is on here, just name after name. This is me. Such a kick to be on this. are between a minute and two minutes long kind of similar to Morgan Fisher's miniatures album which I don't have anymore but some of you might know it And I was very much inspired by the painting by Ayako Kanda. That music came from, it was like listening to her picture and that's what I heard. Um, I have to let you know that this is not available through me. I'm not selling this. This is on the Spectropol Records label. I'll leave the link, but this is almost, there was a limited edition, two CDR version of this with, with, um, artwork, individual artwork for each one of those, those are all gone. This is close to selling out already. So I'll leave the link if you want to get this. I don't know if it's possible because I know that Gonzalo mostly financed this out of his own pocket. I'd love to see a vinyl release of this. It's just fantastic. Hello folks, I'm back right quick. Um, the, the first and primary thing I want to do in this video is um, speak a little bit more about frets of yore and uh, correct a mistake I made. People do um, correct me when I make mistakes. I have been mistakenly saying that Gonzalo Fuentes is from a place he is not. Gonzalo Fuentes is from Chile. It would have just taken a moment for me to check that yesterday before speaking, but I didn't. And... Um, uh, for anyone that might have be offended or bothered by it, it was unintentional. Gonzalo Fuentes is from Chile, like the artist I recently saw, Nicholas Jar. I have listened to this all the way through a couple times now, and I am just so pleased to be a part of this. This is very, very listenable. Um, compilations can be really hit or miss. Um, and oftentimes compilations are made for a lot of different reasons. Um, sometimes compilations are made just to get something on a record filled with a whole lot of garbage. This is not the case. This is really good. Yesterday I had showed you um, how um, pleased I was to be on a record with um, Fred Frith of Henry Cow. Um, this band just really figures largely in my history of, of um, music discovery. You know, um, when this happened in the 70s, I really had to um, struggle to understand what was happening with Henry Cow at first, but I'm glad I did. It's really raised the bar for me. Fred Frith's guitar playing and composition, hugely important in the sound of Henry Cow and beyond. So... But I thought I'd show some more examples of work of people who are on Frets of Yore to uh, further illustrate why it means so much to me to be a, on this, along with these other artists. Some people who I consider friends, like Carla Diratz. I just uh, reviewed this recently, The Electric Suite by Carla Diratz. 
Andy Bowl. Here's the record he did with Hiroshi Higashi from Acid Mother's Temple. Andy Bowl's um, track starts the whole thing off. And here is one of his epicycles. Ambient. Wonderful. I recently um, reviewed Nick Prohl and the Proletarians. Nick is uh, a visual artist as well as a musician. And he is on Frets of Yore. Good stuff. And this is a good album too. Dave Newhouse, as you can see there, in the green from the Muffins, is involved. Carl Blake from Lemon Kittens. I've had this forever. Just some really wild stuff. Really cool. Lemon Kittens. One of the visual artists involved with the record uh, on, on the project who submitted artwork. The amazing Cal Schenkel who designed one of my favorite covers of all time. Cal Schenkel who worked um, extensively with Frank Zappa. He designed this. One of my favorite, I mean, I'll never forget the first time I saw this as a kid in a record store. It just stopped me in my tracks. You know, I was fascinated and frightened. Here's another one that Cal Schenkel is responsible for for Frank Zappa. Here's another one. I mean, I get a kick knowing that I'm on this project with this guy. Cal Schenkel designed this iconic cover for Captain Beefheart's Trout Mask Replica. These are cool people to be associated with. Yeah, little guy from Omaha and me involved with this. Yeah, it means a lot. Am I speaking about it too much? Maybe for some, maybe for some people, but uh, so what? This is my, this is my joy. I'm sharing with you. Miroslav Wanik from the amazing band Uz, Uzme Doma. I'm not going to say where they're from because I'll probably get it messed up. I'll say Czech Republic, but then it'll be like Poland. It's probably Poland. This record, yes, Poland, okay. And I also got to meet Miroslav when they came to Omaha many years ago. His contribution is on here. Here's cool, Fred Frith, uh, album I have where he's doing uh, duets, duets with René Lussier. René Lussier is also on Frets of Yore. Wonderful track. I mentioned my friend Dave, New my, my friend now, I can call him my friend, Dave Newhouse of the Muffins. And apparently, besides doing a track, he was helpful behind the scenes to Gonzalo in putting together the frets of your. Um, I don't know how available this is or if it's sold out yet, but I really encourage you to get a copy of this. Go over to Spectrapol Records and pick one up. Another new friend, Ron Anderson. I hear I have Fever Dream by Ron Anderson. Ron is on the album. Great track. Elliot Sharp, a very interesting guitar player. Elliot Sharp, I have two of his albums, Carbon and Tessellation Row. This is very interesting stuff, people. Um, it's not Eric Clapton, and that's not a diss on Eric Clapton. It's just to say that this is a little bit more than just blues. And then the last, then Danielle Dax. She uh, did some... Um, visual artwork on here but I love I love her early I love her stuff I love her stuff I have two of her albums Popeyes and then Inky Bloaters yeah I have more records and stuff by people on the Frets of Your project but I just wanted to show more just to um, put into context you know the the artist and the type of artist that um, Gonzalo chose to um, ask to um, make Frets of Your come to life, you know, which again gives it just so much more meaning to me to be asked that um, the work that I do is on a par with these other people. It means a lot to me. It is definitely a bucket list. Uh, I don't mind speaking about it again. Shoot, I'm looking here, and here's another Frank Zappa album that was designed by Cal Schenkel, you know. It's wonderful. 